One guy that doesn't seem to have any problem catching fish no matter where we go is uh, Quaker State Pro, Scott Canterbury. Scott, you've been to this lake um, a lot. Uh, you've seen it change. Uh, just kind of fill us in right now on, on what's different this year. I mean, other than the fact that we're here a little later than usual, um, but just kind of fill us in on the fishery right now. Yeah, you know, we're here a little lighter and, you know, I was really looking forward to it coming in a little bit lighter, hoping that fish would be on the bed spawning. Sight fish is my favorite thing in the world to do. And, you know, I thought it was going to set up like that and it still may, but that weather just threw it a big curveball this week. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, the first day of practice, I seen hundreds of fish. I probably caught 50. And, you know, I probably had 20, 25 keepers the first day and I never caught a two and a quarter, two and a half pound fish all day and I never seen a three pounder all day long. So, you know, there's tons of fish up and there's a lot of small fish. I just hadn't really dialed it in on how to get a big bite and uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a grind. You got to get five <laughs> of those good large mouths, you know, but it's a little bit different than, you know, this lake has really showed out the last mm -hmm. two or three years with the FLW here. I mean, we've caught them and we've caught big ones. and. It's, been, it's took good weights every year to do really good, to make a top 10. And before that, you know, I mean, if you caught 10 pounds a day, you yeah. were pretty good, like 12 pounds a day would make the cut. And the way I've practiced this week, I sort of think it's back to the old Beaver Lake okay. this week. So, you know, I mean, it's just gonna be a grind, try to catch you 10 or 12 pounds. You get, catch a good bite, get 13 or 14, you're right there in the mix. It's gonna be, it's just gonna be a grind. You're gonna try to, try to stick it out and get five good ones. Now, you know, uh, you said, Spawning fish, uh, you know, a lot of guys have actually kind of mentioned you haven't been able to find uh, really any size to them. Um, but beavers kind of traditionally been one of those lakes where, um, I mean, that's why like the Andy Morgans tend to do well because you got to fish the moment. You know, each day changes, you got to change with it. And it oh, seems definitely. like since we have fish kind of all over pre spawn, post spawn, and on the bed, um, you know, that's where guys kind of like yourself seem to fare well. And you think we'll see a lot of that from our top 10? Most definitely. I mean, that's beaver like you got to fish what what it throws at you you know you got to run the wind no matter where it's at if it's on a stretch you caught them on yesterday and it's not there today you you might as well not yep. even fish it i've been there i've done that i've caught you know i've had some really good tournaments here and it's it's a deal where you got to fish every day this is the one like that you could that not everybody but this is the one like that i could show up to and fish a tournament without even practicing <laughs> just because i mean i like the like i like mm -hmm. the way it lays out uh, you know, it's not always good to me and it really hasn't been that good this week, but you know, I'm looking forward to it. I get out there and I'm going to give it my all and, you know, catch what I can catch and let the chips lay where they can fall. Now, one last thing, uh, last year we actually, we saw a lot of really good sized smallmouth, uh, and, and some good sized spots as well, but largemouth have kind of always been that kicker fish. Um, have you noticed any of that trend this week at all? You know, I did that first day, uh, you know, I caught a lot of smallmouth. I caught a lot of keeper smallmouth. I didn't catch any good ones, but the biggest fish I've caught since I've been here was a smallmouth. I caught a four pound smallmouth. And, uh, you know, I mean, if you can get a good couple of those good ones sure. every day, or, you know, whether it's a smallmouth or a largemouth, it doesn't matter. There's four pounders. There's probably more four pound largemouth than there are, or there may be more four pound smallmouth. I don't know. You know, they're just harder to catch than a largemouth for me. The way my strengths, uh, staying a little bit shallow catching mm -hmm. a large mouse and that's what I'll go after you know if I, if I catch a small mouth that's just great I'm blessed so uh, I, I expect to see some good small mouse weighed Absolutely. in you got some guys that really catch them you know you got Cody Meyer and oh, Anthony yeah. Gagliardi and those guys that really like that clear water and you know they're really good at really good at dialing in how to catch those small mouths and you know that's the thing that can win here and you know I see there'll be some of that weighed in. Well, thank you much, Scott. Uh, good luck to you this week. I appreciate it. Thank Keep you. Keep an eye on Scott Hammerberry Canterbury. <laughs>